Hey guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. This video is the top ice cream places here in San Francisco. I'm gonna be taking you to a few spots here in the city where I like to get ice cream. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first place that I'm taking you to is Polly Ann Ice Cream here in Outer Sunset. It is on the corner of 38th and Noriega and they have a lot of cool flavors. And I am going to show you a cool trick on how you can save a little bit of money by using Yelp. And no, this video is not sponsored by Yelp. I wish. Okay, so you're going to open up Yelp on your phone. And in the search bar, you're going to type Polly Ann. Hit search. So you're going to click on Polly Ann Ice Cream. And then you're gonna hit check in where that check mark is. You're just gonna hit check in, don't type anything. You're gonna swipe that down. And then next you're gonna click redeem your check in offer for one free cookie or waffle cone, which is gonna take off 75 cents off your order. Thank you. Look how good that looks. Yum, yum, yum. So I got the cookie dough boy and then I got another scoop of the Oreo cookie. I mean, it is mad delicious. I absolutely love Polly Ann. They're a little pricey, but not too pricey. But yeah, this is like a really good place. It's a really cute underrated ice cream store in the sunset that I absolutely love. And they have so many unique flavors. Okay, so the next ice cream place that I'm taking you to is called Let's Roll Creamery here in Inner Sunset. It is a really, really cool ice cream place. It's rolled ice cream. I know that's not like a unique thing because there's rolled ice cream places all over the world. This place is so, so good and I really want to share this place with you. So let's go inside. how good that looks guys so delicious so right now I am standing in line at Byright Creamery and this is an absolute hot spot ice cream place here in San Francisco there is like always a line as you can see right now that I'm waiting in and it is just so so popular I definitely recommend coming here on a weekday as opposed to a weekend where you will not have as many crowded lines and you don't have to wait as long for a scoop of ice cream but I promise guys the wait is worth it so let's hang tight and wait for So I got the birthday cake and then the s'more scoop in a waffle bowl. And that's kind of how I recommend getting ice cream here is in their waffle bowl. They also have a really good soft serve ice cream as well. So right now I'm outside of the Smitten Ice Cream here in the Marina District. There are several other Smitten locations here in San Francisco and then there's a few locations in Southern California but you'll mostly find Smitten here throughout the Bay Area. What's really cool about this place is that the ice cream is made out of liquid nitrogen. So let's go outside and check it out. So I got the chocolate chip cookie dough with pretzels in a chocolate waffle bowl. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay, so right now I am outside Swenson's and this is a very, very old ice cream shop. One thing that you need to know about this place is that it is cash only. So make sure you got your dollar dollar bills ready because that's their only method of payment. Let's go inside and get some ice cream. So 
was just really boring and simple with my ice cream. They give you like a cute little sugar cone. It's a very old fashioned place and I just got the chocolate chip cookie dough. Hey guys, so right now I'm standing outside of the ice cream bar which is another old fashioned ice cream shop here in the city. And they're also known for their shakes and their homemade sodas. But there is so much ice cream in this place. And I think today I'm actually going to be ordering a milkshake instead of an ice cream cone because I'm just sick of ice cream cones. So let's go inside and check this place out. The next day. And we are back because yesterday when I came here, it was closed. So of course it would be closed the one day where I try to come. So we're back again. So now we're going to go inside. A chocolate and vanilla milkshake because I was really craving a milkshake as opposed to ice cream and they make really good shakes here. What you saw me try on that spoon was a vegan sorbet. It was the coconut milk and dark chocolate almond sorbet and it was really good. I would just probably want to eat that um, separately as opposed to a milkshake so I just got this guy instead. So right now I'm in Potrero Hill outside of Milk Bomb Ice Cream. This is a really cool spot and I have saved the best for last because yes, this is the last spot I'm taking you to. So this ice cream place is super duper Instagrammable. So we're gonna go inside and check it out and look at all the fun things we can do with our ice cream. that look. Wait, let me take the paper off of that so you can see the cone. It's so pretty. I got a lavender cone with birthday cake scoop and ube scoop with Lucky Charm with marshmallows on it and then Fruity Pebbles with marshmallow sauce all dripped over. Oh my god. Okay guys, so those are all the ice cream places that I have for y'all. I do want to share a couple of honorable mentions that didn't make it into this video. And one is the salt and straw. I didn't put that one in there just because there are other locations outside of the Bay Area. And another popular one that people love is the Baked Bear, which is an ice cream sandwich place. Oh, it's so good. But again, there's other locations around the country. Another one that I haven't mentioned is Over the Moon Creamery in the Marina. That place is really good. And if there is an ice cream place that I miss that you recommend in San Francisco, let them know in the comment section down below so other people can check those places out. Okay guys, well I think it's safe to say that I'm officially over ice cream. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as I post new videos on Mondays and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!